We're now ready to go ahead and install our heads and our head gaskets. Now, the first step of our process is we want to make sure our decking is just super clean. I want no oil residue whatsoever left over on there as we do it. So we're going to use some microfiber towels initially, and I'm just doing double here because that's how I do things. We're just going to soak this up with some brake cleaner and clean off the head there. Make sure we get residue. Once that dries as a follow-up, I'm just going to hit it with some alcohol as a final step with a fresh microfiber cloth and wipe those down and make sure that we're ready to go ahead and put our gaskets on. So let's get started with getting everything cleaned off and let's put it together. Now we're ready to go ahead and install our dowels here into the decking or into our block here. Now you have two dowels, one goes in here, one goes in here. And to put these in, you're just gonna take something and pinch those if you will, slide them down in there. Now there is like a lip down inside of there so you can't go too far with it and set those into place. Once you get down and you hit that stop, you'll just let go of it and leave them in the position and then you'll be ready to put your head gaskets in place. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our head gasket into position and this is the 9792PT-2 and you'll have these openings here here and here and these will line up with your dowel so it's going to sit beautifully right in position onto the decking and there we have it. Now we're ready to go ahead and set our head in place. Now initially the first thing we did is clean off our surface here just like we did on the block so we have no oil or any residue on there. It's ready for installation. Now once again we have the dowels on the block. Those are going to line up over here and over here just to make sure it's lined up perfectly and to kind of help hold it in place while we go ahead and just put a couple of the head bolts in to hold it and then we'll put them all in and tighten it down. There's one, there's two, slide it into position. Now take one of your head bolts and go ahead and just feed it down in there. I got the head. We have two boxes of our head bolts here. We got these from Felpro. Now the part number on these are ES71328. Now there's two boxes here because in each one of these boxes, it comes with enough head studs or head bolts, I'm sorry. I'm used to working on my six liter. Uh, so it comes with enough head bolts to do one head. So we have one box for each head. Now they have two different styles of these and we have the later version that they came out with. On the earlier version, it had the washer for the head of the of the bolt that was separate. Now with this new updated version, this is all integrated in and the head is flanged. So it comes in one piece, it's stronger, it does better. So we have those and we're ready to get these installed. Now before you go and use your new head bolts, what both the factory service manual as well as Felpro's instructions that come with it say, is you want to lightly lubricate the threads of your bolts with some oil oil and then you also want to lubricate the underside of the head just so you have no resistance and you get a true torque value. I'm just using a little brush here and you'll just want to add that to the underside of the head and lubricate those. Do all those before you start using these to install your heads. At this point, all we're doing is just putting the new head bolts into the head and running them down until they touch. We'll get into specific tightening patterns and torque specs next. Felpro is calling for 27 to 32 foot pounds on all of these on your first run. On the Ford service manual, it calls for 30 foot pounds on the first run. So we're going to go with 30 foot pounds. That seems to be right in the middle with Felpro and it falls in line with the factory. Now the tightening sequence between Felpro and Ford is different. I'm going to show you what Felpro calls for because we're using their head bolts. Now what they have is this bolt here is going to be number one, number two, number three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, once we go through and do all of those at 30 foot pounds, then what they want us to do is go through and do a 85 to 95 degree turn where the factory manual calls for just a 90 degree turn on that. Where it's different is with Felpro, once you do the 90 degree turn, they want you then to do one turn to actually loosen them back up again. Once we do that, then we do the same process again, where we're going to actually torque them down to 30 foot pounds, doing the same sequence. And then we do 90 degrees, and then we go through our sequence, do a 90 degree again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scan their instructions that come with this, and I will put that up on the screen here for you so you can get a good look at that. And you'll be able to go back and refer to it. Let's get this going and I'll show you how this goes as we get a little bit more into it. Now that we have our initial 30 foot pound set, we're going to go through now and I'm just going to take my paint marker here and we're going to put a line on each one of our head bolts so we can track our 90 degree turn. Now you got a good angle. You can see Luke has now tightened these each at 90 degrees. So we're at three o'clock on all of our lines throughout here. So we've done step one of our tightening sequence. Now with Felpro specs, what we need to do is go back and loosen these now and do at least one full turn. We've now gone back and we've loosened these up. Now, Felpro's instructions call for at least one turn. So since we started with our line at three o'clock, we did one full turn to back to the three o'clock position, and then we did another 90 degrees. So our lines are all back up at the 12 o'clock position. All right, so now we're ready. We have our torque wrench sent to 30 foot-pounds. We're gonna go back through, retight. So now we're ready to start with our second sequence or actually our third at this point. But what we did do is this time because the bolts are naturally in a different position of the heads so the yellow marks aren't where they were and it just makes it easier to track where things are at if we start with our lines at a 12 o'clock position. So our first line was done in yellow and now our second line we've gone back through and we've done that in white and they're lined up at the 12 o'clock position. So now we're on to our next torque si uh, sequence and that is we're going to turn these 90 degrees again until that white line is at 3 o'clock. Then we go back through it again and we do it until it goes down to 6 o'clock. So the first round is 90 degrees sequence, then go back and do another 90 degrees in sequence, and then it's done. All right, Luke did a real good job. You can see all of our lines are at three o'clock. They're at a 90 degree angle. So our first pattern's done. Now we're on our last tightening sequence, which is another 90 degrees following the same tightening pattern. So now when we're done, all of these lines should be facing down in the six o'clock position. So 
we have this head completely torqued down and uh, you know my hats off to you guys that do this inside the vehicle doing the last round of torquing on these was quite a bit of work I think Luke may have hurt himself there <laughs> but uh, these all went great as you can see we're all at six o'clock on these we only had two of them that just would not go that distance and we weren't about to force anything and that was this one down here and then our one up here and so number 10 and I believe this one here is number eight um, just weren't wanting to go the entire 90 degrees however our specs show that we can be between 85 and 95 so I think we're going to be good there this side is now done and ready to go we're going to move over to the other side we're not going to go slow through that like we did here um, you've seen this now in, in slow motion and actually up close i may touch base with you just to give you an idea of that side what your tightening sequence is just so you have that for information So we have our head in place and we have our head bolts are installed. We just ran them down to where they're touching the head now. We need to go ahead and start doing our torque sequence. Now this one you're really going to do the same as the other one but it's mirrored if you will. So we have number one, two, three, four, five and then you're going to jump down six seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we do the same sequence again where we're going to do 30 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. Then we go back and we do a full turn and then we'll do a quarter again. And then we go back and we do 30 foot-pounds and then 90 degrees and then 90 degrees again. So same process, just a bit different. So our first tightening sequence is complete. We went ahead and did 30 foot-pounds all the way around. Then we went through and did our paint marker on the heads of the bolts. At 12 o'clock, they're now all at three o'clock. So we did our 90 degree turn. Now we're gonna actually back them off and do a one and a quarter turn. So all of our lines are back up at 12 o'clock and then start it all over again. While Luke is loosening our head bolts here, I just thought I would step in. Unfortunately, I have lost some of the footage of us actually doing the final torque of the head bolts here on this right-hand head. Once we got it done loosened here, we just went back through, did the same process where we go 30 foot-pounds and then 90 degrees, and then the third and final process was an additional 90 degrees. I'm really happy with how our head installation came out as we continue on with our motor project for my son's truck. Now make sure and stay with us because in our next series of videos, we're going to be doing the water pump and the oil filter adapter gasket. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching. Bye.